the children brought the other day was so lovely. Christy tells me he sat up last night. Yes. He's improving every day. Dr. Brandt left for Asheville this morning. He'll be back next week to visit William, of course. It's a matter of time now till we can all go home. I'm sorry. You've been so kind. I sound ungrateful. I should be thanking you. Because we were thankful for thy daughter. When I first received Christie's letters, I was jealous of you. She's my only child. She seems to feel so close to you. My only child is also a daughter, Margaret. Oh. Does Margaret live near here? I'm not certain where she's living. I haven't heard from her in quite some time. I'm sorry to be taking Christy home. I have no choice. Her father needs her. I need her. Mrs. Huddleston, my name is Julia. Julia, has they thought about what Christy needs? Meaning your mission? I would have thought the reverse was true. I meant that the children need her. And I believe she needs them. She has a gift, Julia. But her work here has only begun. The attorneys agreed that the most important fact of their case against the steamship company is the small number of lifeboats aboard the Titanic, tragically inadequate for a vessel carrying thousands of passengers. Are you tired, Daddy? Would you like me to stop? No. I like hearing. About the law? I know. Your voice. The White Star Line would not comment, except to say that it was not negligent in the case of the Titanic. Well, that's cheerful reading. <laughs> Lawsuits and shipwrecks do not make the best medicine, darling. Please put the newspaper away. Hello, my love. You brought these to brighten your room. You are looking much better. To my mother, I would always be a little girl. How could I go back to Asheville and be that person again? Yet, how could I stay here and desert my father? My dilemma was small compared to the life and death problems of Cut a Gap, which preoccupied even the children. That bird thinks he's smarter than us. I think he is, too. I don't think we're going to win that prize. I know. Don't got no horse for that saddle anyway. Maybe if we dressed up like bears, we could scare that turkey. We better think of something else. Yeah. How's the hunt? Oh, the game is trickling in. Sam Houston and Little Burl claim they've seen a prize winning Tom Turkey. They may win on imagination alone. I may be late tonight, Alice. Going to El Pano to see about the bell? No. You have the right idea. It's more important to help these people. If I can't get them seed corn, at least I can help them get ready for winter. Patch cabins and chop firewood. They'll keep me busy. I won't think so much. About Miss Huddleston's departure? I can't believe she's really going, Alice. I keep hoping a miracle will happen and she'll be able to stay. Yes. I keep trying to visualize that bell on the top of that steeple. Our neighbors don't need a bell. They need the game your hunt will provide. In my two hands. Creed Allen? I'm meeting Billy Long up on Pebble Mountain today. We could use that help if they would care to join us. 
No, ma'am. Reckon not. Very well. I trust you will have a productive afternoon. Seven and three, what does that make? Ten. Correct. But we can't write ten because we don't have enough room. So we put the zero right here, and we carry the one. Carry means we put the one right here, and we add it to this column. Let's see, carry the one. You can eat your lunch now and work those figures later. I'll work them now. Don't you have any lunch, George? Sure, I just ain't hungry. Try to get my dolly for that. Don't need her. Already got one. Mountie, I have some cornbread. No, thank you. Oh, it's got honey on it. I can't. I got to trade for it. All right. You can trade me your doll, but um, but I don't have a pocket to put her in, so you'll have to keep her for me. Can you do that? Yes, teacher. I think she's worth some milk, too. Well, we tried. Sure wish we'd caught that door. We've never seen one that big. Sam Houston. You gotta stop jabbering about it. Sam Houston! Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I believe I am. Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! I wish Vincent hadn't gone home. You know what his problem is? He's got no faith. That's what. He can give up if he wants, but no dumb bird's gonna bust the likes out of you and me. Is he? No, Shelby isn't. Look, it's him. This time, he's not getting away. But it's just us. How are we gonna catch him by ourselves? I'll tell you how. We're gonna get into this here stream. We're gonna sneak up on him like two old crawl dads. He won't see us if we stay real low to the water. Yeah. We're gonna get him this time. No turkey can outsmart us. Yeah. Use that bridge for camouflage so we can't see it. Oh, it's cold. Quit crying. It ain't so bad. Oh, dang. That's cold. I told you. And stay low. I'm trying. Keep that branch up around your face, little girl. I can't see past that branch. There he is. I can't believe it. Give him everything. Come on. Let's get him to everything. Let's go. Well, you're coming along fine. Much better since my last visit. A few more days, you'll be on your way to Asheville. That's wonderful news, isn't it, darling? Of course, you tire easily, and there's still some numbness on your left side. But that's to be expected. He can't use his arm or move his leg more than a little. When will that get better? Well, it's difficult to say. The paralysis could remain, or it could improve with time. You might even be able to use a wheelchair someday. You see, I'm an invalid. I'm saying you're lucky, William. You're alive. <laughs>